Okay, we're going to start on the second lesson on the scale series. This is covering tetrachord, the tetrachord methods of playing scales, which is this method here. <laughs> I showed you the four different kinds of tetrachords. The Lydian tetrachord, the major tetrachord, the minor tetrachord, and the Phrygian tetrachord. Okay, now we're going to expand those into the full scales. Uh, now, like I said, if you watch the prerequisite videos, you need to know how to divide the guitar up into three sets of two strings and be able to find the root and fifth on each set. Because we're going to build a tetrachord on the root. Let's start off with a major scale. Let's play a major tetrachord on the root. Then let's play another major tetrachord on the fifth. And that's our major scale. Then go to the next root. Play a major tetrachord. Next fifth. Major tetrachord. Next root. Next fifth. And we get up three full octaves using this method. Also, what's nice about this method is you have four picks per string, which is a really nice pattern for guitarists because we can just go down up, down up, and it's really consistent. Uh, you also want to find it going backwards, which is always gives people more difficulty than going forward. But you'll you'll figure it out. You'll figure out the patterns. Just remember that the next set going downwards starts on. Target is again the roots and the fifths. So when you're going backwards, just have that fifth there that you're targeting. Now I'm going to target that root. Now I'm going to target this fifth here. Now I'm going to target this root here. I'm going to target this fifth here. I'm going to target this root here. And that's your major scale. Okay, next mode. We, we just did a major scale, which is two major ten chords. Now let's do the Dorian. Now you can think of Dorian on... I'm not going to explain all the advantages of thinking about modes, and I think jazz musicians put more focus on modes than I would. Um, so that's for your theory instructor to explain. <laughs> I'm just going to show you how to play them. You can think of um, modes as being the different positions of the scale. So in the key of G, the first position would be the major. The second position would be the door. So you're playing all the same notes as you are in G, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. But instead of starting on G and ending on G, we're going to start on A and end on A. So A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A. That's the second mode. It's called Dorian. Again, we're going to use, we're doing everything around G, so we're going to use A Dorian, which is on the fifth fret. We're going to use the root fifth, root fifth, root fifth method again. So the Dorian mode is a minor tetrachord built on the root, then a minor tetrachord built on the fifth. So if we're going around G, G, A, B, that's going to be the Phrygian position, the Phrygian mode. The Phrygian mode starts off with a Phrygian tetrachord. And then on the fifth, so Phrygian tetrachord on the root, and a minor tetrachord on the fifth. I'm sorry, no. Phrygian tetrachord on the root, Phrygian tetrachord on the fifth. I'm sorry, that's correct. method. I think you should know this method, but I personally don't use this as much as I do other methods in my own playing. Uh, and you'll 
you want to know these because they'll help you get around the guitar very fluently once you know it, but you're not necessarily going to sit there and play the Phrygian tetrachords over a solo or anything. fifth is right here, so play Phrygian tetra chord going down to that fifth, my next root there, play Phrygian tetra chord going down to that root, here's the fifth, and here's the root. Okay. Next uh, position, Galenian position, so we have G, A, B, C, and notice these positions all correspond with the first four notes of the major scale. G, A, B, C. Okay, so the next position the Lydian position. As you would guess, it starts off with a Lydian tetrachord based on the root. And then a major tetrachord based on the fifth. Root is Lydian, fifth is major. Root is Lydian, fifth is major. Mixolydian position. This is the fifth position. G, A, B, C, D. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a lot of talk and it makes my voice hoarse. So, the Lydian position, we're going to do a, a major tetrachord on the root, a minor tetrachord on the fifth. spread on the, the scale method so you get a little high. Yeah, let's not let's just go to the sixth position. G, A, B, C, D, E. Okay. So this is the minor position. It's also called the Aeolian position. So we're just gonna go down the octave. So your first finger is technically on zero, the zero fret. So don't get confused about the open strings. Playing the open string is like playing the zero of the fret. So we're going to do a minor tetrachord based on this root. And a Phrygian tetrachord on the fifth. Minor on the root. This position is a little different because every position that we've done so far has a root, perfect fifth, root, perfect fifth, root, perfect fifth. This position is just slightly different. It has a root, diminished fifth, root, diminished fifth, root, diminished fifth. So instead of a perfect fifth, which would be there, we're going to use diminished fifth. Low cream position has a Phrygian tetrachord. some mental connections right now. Like we started the Lydian um, scale on C. We 
put a, a living tenor chord on it, right? And every time we start something on that C, we're gonna play a living tenor chord. So when we started that Locrian, the first half is on F sharp, and we played a Phrygian. But when we went to that C, which is the flat fifth, we played a living tenor chord. Another example, when we played, let's say, the Dorian scale, which is a minor tetrachord chord followed by a minor tetrachord. chord. Minor tetrachord chord on A, minor tetrachord chord on E. I'm sorry, minor tetrachord chord on Yeah, that's right. Minor tetrachord chord on E. When we go to that E up here, which is the Aeolian position, we start off with a minor tetrachord chord or down here. Just like we did when we were playing the second part of the door. If that doesn't make sense, find a, a theory instructor or a guitar instructor to explain it a little better. But as you learn these, you'll start making these little connections about why this tetrachord is used on this note and why this tetrachord is used on this note. And you'll start making little mental connections, and those mental connections will become little mental handles that you can use in your own playing. And I'll start making the fretboard come along a lot easier. Let's just do a real quick review. I'm just going to do the all seven modes. I'm just going to show them to you real quick on one set. Major. That'd be a major tetrachord chord followed by a major tetrachord. chord. Dorian, I'm just going to stay in the position, the same position this time. Dorian is a minor followed by a minor. Phrygian is a Phrygian followed by another Phrygian. Uh, Lydian is a Lydian followed by a major. Mixolydian is a major followed by a minor. Minor or Aeolian is a minor followed by a Phrygian and Locrian, which is the seventh degree. This is the weird one. It is a Lydian. I'm sorry, a Phrygian. And then on the flat five, a Lydian. Okay, one more time. Major. backwards and forwards and then when you're done move on to the next segment of the scales where I will be showing 